Hi, Thelma here of Seasonal Crafts and Creations, and welcome back to another episode of I Love Halloween. In today's episode, I will be doing two DIYs. One is a topiary pumpkin. You will need three of these jack o' lanterns from the Dollar Tree, or you can pick them up at any store of your choice. And the other one, I will be doing a bow for a glitter head pumpkin. So without further ado, let's get to crafting. I'm going to first turn this down so you all can see. And I'm going to start out by telling you all, I was going to use this from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square, but it comes out real thin and runny. And um, all it did was leave a real light stain going over it. And I urge you not to try and use this because no matter how many coats you put on, it would not be enough. So I'm going to be using some apple orange from Apple Barrel from Walmart. And some pumpkin orange from Apple Barrel at Walmart. And I got this last year when it was on sale for 97 cents. So I really don't know how much the apple orange is. But the pumpkin um, orange is 50 cents a bottle. So what we're going to do is mix it. to come up with a real nice shade. I've done this before in a previous DIY and I really like the results. So just mix it up. And let's get started. Doesn't matter which pumpkin you start paint first because they'll all be painted and they had little twine rope around right here that's what these hose are just I urge you to take it out for painting and you won't need to put it back on because we're not going to be hanging it um, until the end you might want to put one on the main top one So just paint the whole pumpkin in orange and um, before we paint the, the black. And you will also be needing brown. Okay, okay um, once we have the, the orange painted on the pumpkin, let's do the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using some jet black. And some, if I could find, it's called Purple Irish, number 21486E from Apple Barrel. I might. No, I think I'm going to use black and white for his eyes. We're going to do his eyes, nose, and mouth in black. So you'll need a fair amount and just a little of the white. So I'm using a small paintbrush. And take your time on this so you make sure you don't slip and get the pumpkin. And um, one good thick coat of this is all that you need. And go on down here and make like a little circle there 
or a half moon shape. And that's where we're going to paint the white. Go ahead and do the other side just like it. But it's faster to dry in, um, that way you don't have to dry the first coat, then dry, dry the second coat if you just put a good thick, not real thick, but just enough to make it like it would have been two coats. Now let's go ahead and do the nose and mouth. Just nice even strokes, small ones. That way, um, it makes sure you doesn't that you your brush doesn't go over the edge because it's such a narrow thickness. Um, drop a line in the comments and let me know what color you're going to paint your pumpkins. And I have some of these sponge brushes, they're circle, and uh, we're going to, um, one of them I'm going to do little circles. But if you don't have one, you can get that pack of three at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Or um, if you know how, you can just draw a circle. See, I got a little bit, but just take your finger and I'll put a circle there and cover that up in a different color. So it's really no big deal if you go over and make a little spot because accidents do happen. Okay. Now, get you another paintbrush and do the white. And these will look real high-end and elegant once you're finished with them. If you make them in different colors besides your traditional pumpkin color. Okay, this one we don't have to paint the stem because it's going to be on the bottom. I'm going to set this aside and let the orange finish drying. Let me dab that up. There. Let the orange finish drying. That way we can glue them together. Now let's start on this one. 
I'm going to paint this pumpkin um, rusty nail. It's acrylic color, folk art from Walmart. And it's okay because I don't believe the eyes are going to be uh, white down there on this one. I'm going to make it a different color. So just continue painting and paint the whole pumpkin. Okay, now that we have the pumpkin painted and like I said this color is rusty nail just in case you're interested in using that color now let's paint the eyes and nose and mouth sorry that was my kitty y'all know him he's the one that has to make an entrance into all of my videos <laughs> And again, take your time on the eyes. And I always use the stem because there's nothing to, no, no paint on it to keep the pumpkins straight. So just make sure you just put a, a thick enough coat that you don't have to put two coats of paint on. That way it's less drying time. Sorry, I had to pause for a second and move my cat. He was behind the um, stand for my phone on a bag of pla a plastic bag, and that was all that crunching sound you heard. And I felt it was just not right to make the video for you, so that's all you hear in the background. And if any of you know a good um, editing software, maybe one that's free to use, that's good with, compatible with YouTube, um, could you drop the, drop the link in a comment? That way I know, because mine went um, bad, the audio went out on it, and nothing I do will make it come back. I've tried reinstalling it and everything. And uh, that way I can edit my videos and combine videos for you. I'd appreciate it. We're almost finished with this one.
Alright, let me see. I think I'm going to paint his or her, it could be her, a real pretty, the real pretty purple Irish. for her eyes color I just think that looks so cute there Okay, let me move this aside so it can be drying while we do the last pumpkin. Okay, and the last pumpkin, I'm going to mix some chocolate bar brown and some territorial beige and make this pumpkin that color Mix a little white in it too. So make sure you mix it up. I'm, I'm showing you what it'll look like after it's all mixed up. always try to get a glob of it that way I have enough paint on the canvas well on the pumpkin that's a canvas <laughs> and um, just paint the whole thing again I'm just using my imagination and going with different colors, something you wouldn't think a pumpkin would be in. I'll bet that orange one, of course, it, um, it is a pumpkin, but there's going to be different colors on it once they dry. I'm going to use the round sponge on some of them. get any thick clumps just move it off the canvas with your paintbrush because you don't want to leave it I 
it must have been at the tip top of the bottle because there was a clump there But I love painting and trying out new experiments on projects. Um, tell me what colors you're using on yours and what designs you're going to be doing. I'd love to know what color you decided to use for the eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used the back of these, let me show you, and made a garland with the big leaves. I painted on this color, and I did the leaves like that too in a different color. And I did one leaf, one pumpkin, and made a big long garland for, for fall. And I used it in my kitchen, and it looked real nice. I got compliments on it. Sorry, I got a clump there I had to get out. It's where the paint thickens in the bottle. Almost finished and then we'll lay it aside and let it dry while I look at the first one that we did and if it's dry we'll start doing some little patterns on it Tell me who um, likes to do their arts and crafts uh, for relaxation and just because it calms you and takes you to a peaceful place or is it strictly for work? I'd like to know. Okay, now get your black. This one I'm doing a little different on the eye. Just make an upside down V.
I need a little bit more black paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. There he is, he's back. He likes sitting on bags too. He's got this thing about bags. He'll play with you with the bag. It, I think it's the noise that it makes. He's fully grown, but he's a big baby. That's my snuggles though. He's one out of the five cats that I have. I have Binks, Butterscotch, Milo, Gray, and Snuggles. And the only female I have is Binks. And she's a solid black cat. My son named her off of Hocus Pocus. Um, if you're interested, go to Instagram and, um, my, my channel, I guess you call it, because I'm new to Instagram, is Thelma Vastine. My, my first and last name, um, you know how to spell it by my channel on here. And, um... Join me over there. I'm going to start reading up on I got a book from the library on how to do it. So I can add videos and pictures. And get a, I guess it's called a group going on. Okay. Now. <clears throat> I'm going to use this. Prime Rose for the eyes. If I can get it out, it's coming slowly. Need another paintbrush. And like I said, one good thick coat is all you need. Okay. Now I'm going to move this aside and figure out which one's dry and we'll take it from there on them. If none's dry, I'll work on the other pumpkin, the, the bow that I'm going to be making. Okay, while we're letting those dry, um, we're going to make a bow for this little guy right here. And first, we're going to use this buffalo plaid for the bottom. So I'll just get it and get about
10 inches and bring it out down. Now bring it over. This is how I make my bows because I can't make them the right way unless I have a bow maker. And we're just going to go go over it twice to have two loops. Well, we'll do it three times. There's two on each side. Well, it looks like it's just two because that's all I have left. Make sure you get that tape off. Now, check it. Make sure it's even, which it is. And straighten it back out. Now, ruffle it together. Bring down your tail. Tie it off with a Chanel stem. Go fairly tight on it and twist it about two or three times. Now I have a uh, black. And all this came from the Dollar Tree and this year's, um, and it's the see-through kind. I didn't know that, but that, I like that. Again, do the same thing. Move that one out of the way a little bit. Make sure it's smaller, a smaller loop than the other one because I forgot to get my ruler. And again, let's just go over it twice and bring down your tail. Cut it off about the same length as the other one. Crunch it up. And tie it onto the the other bow. Do it tight. And I think that's all I'm going to use because it's going to cover up the pumpkin if, um, if we put any more on it. So let, let's just Bring your tails down out of the way and fluff your bow. And when I get finished here and tie it on, we will look, check, and see if the pumpkins are dry so we can finish our topiary pumpkins. Now bring your tail, I mean your Chanel stem, back around to the back and tie it onto the stem of the pumpkin. You don't have to glue it, that way you can use the pumpkin for something else if you want, and the bow. And you, make sure you leave the little hanger thing here, so it'll hang. Now, 
Let's finish to fluff her bow a little bit better. And you can use any pattern of ribbon that you want. If you don't have any from the um, store this year, use, use some that you had in your stash from last year. Or take a bow from something else and put on it. Now let's tie her, um, cut her tails off. I'm just going to do the upward from one end to the next at a slight angle. Let me bring this up so you can see. Alright, and here's what it looks like. All you have to do is just move those tails out of the way so you can see her gorgeous little smile. And adjust your bow. And it's ready to be hung up. Let me put this aside. Let me grab this pumpkin here. I'm grabbing the orange one. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to use purple Irish. And the medium size um, sponge. Let me adjust this back down mm -hmm. so you can see. And all you do is just dip it in the paint. Wipe the bottom off a little. But not a lot. And just put it down and twirl it around. And just make little circles. Now, this one's finished. Now we have to lay it aside and let it dry again. Now this one, I'm going to use the orange, the paintbrush. And let me see if this will look good on here. And we're just going to make swirls. You can make any pattern you want. I just think the swirls that go good with the circles. All right. That one's finished.
Now, let me think for a second. On this one, we need to paint the top brown. So let's just get a little bit of brown, not a lot. Just a little dab, like that much ado. I'm just going to use my brown paint brush. Now I need a new paintbrush for white. I'm going to use white and do a different type of swirl. Let me think. I think I'm going to, on the bottom, Right here where they curve in, just come up like that. Do the same up here on the top. You can use any color you want, and you can do it in any color, any pattern, I should say, any pattern that you want. And we're done. All we have to do is let them dry. Okay, now that the all the pumpkins have dried, we're going to just stack them, lay the one you want on the bottom. And stack them together on top. Get your glue gun. Put a fair amount of glue on it. <coughs> Excuse me. That way it'll stick real good. And glue them down. Make sure you get it straight. Now let's do the other one. Push down on them to make sure they stick real good. Now I have this stand. It's got a little notch going right through here. I got this from the Dollar General with one of those trucks that you can paint and then put on here. And then this came from the Dollar Tree with one of those pumpkins on it, the small ones. I just popped it off. What you want to do after this is dried, we'll stand it up and we'll glue those onto the bottom pumpkin. That way you'll have a standing topiary. I'm 
Okay. Now, let's get a fair amount of glue here. Fill the whole thing up. Try to work fast. Now, take this one and we're going to glue it to the back right here. The back and the bottom. Let me wipe that glue on there. Put glue all on the back of this. Try to get another glue stick in there with one hand. Make it straight. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Turn the pumpkin around. So you can see the main top. Now I made a bow just like I did the last bow, so just make you one just like it, and then, or you can leave it. Just make sure you twist it tight on there. Let me bring this down so I can show you the finished product. This is what it looks like. Alright, I want to thank you all for joining me today to do this DIY, the topiary DIY and the uh, other bow to go with the other pumpkin. If you like the video, uh, hit that thumbs up like button. It really helped my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell next to subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video and you won't miss them. And leave a comment. I uh, really look forward to hearing from each and every one of y'all and I reply to each and every comment and I'd love to have y'all as part of my family here on YouTube and by doing all three of those things 
you will be also entered into the six new tag scarecrow contest that I have going on. Alright, I hope y'all have a safe and happy day. Until next time.